dos uno. Okay. Count me down whenever you are ready to start the speed run, buddy. Alright. You saw him live, right? Sir, yes, sir. Hey, hey, what's up, li hey, what's up, lads? What's up, everybody? Alright. You playing on disc? Should be ready to go, like... No. Oh. Are you on that? I'm too lazy to s set up my other Xbox. Maybe. Wait, what were we gonna ask? When do I start the timer? Oh. Uh, I'll count down for you. Do the opening, whatever this stuff is. <sighs> All right, are you ready there, milkman? Sir, yes, sir. All right. Uh, three, two, one. one. Okay, I'll start off. <laughs> three, <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, hold on. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, good luck, buddy. Alright, thank you. Alright. So, this is Jet Set Radio Future. And this is kind of like a mid category of the game. Instead of uh, just trying to beat the game as fast as possible, which is any percent, and try to fully complete the game as fast as possible, 100%. This is kind of like the mid category. There's uh, a bunch of side things that you have to collect and do. That's a requirement for 100%. Those mainly being spraying all the graffiti and collecting all of the souls, as well as collecting all the characters. But this category just pretty much focuses only on collecting all of the collectible souls in the game and the reason I say collectible is because uh, at the end of the game when you're doing test runs and unlocking characters for each character you unlock you also unlock a soul but since we're not unlocking characters here those don't really count So there's a total of 125 souls in the game. You start off with holding 20 of them. And you have to collect the other 105. There's 8 souls per level, with one level having 9 souls. And in each level, there's three or is, yeah there's three souls that default spawn on each stage so the first the first stage I'm about to enter after this cutscene is Dogenzaka Hill there's gonna be three souls that are already spawned on the level and in order for me to unlock the other five I have to collect a mystery tape and then do all of the challenges on that mystery tape to unlock the other five souls. With the exception of Sky Dino, which has four that are already spawned on the level. And then unlocking the other five. Every mystery tape has five of the same general challenges. There's usually a trick-based or a combo-based a challenge where it's like do 10 tricks in a in a row without breaking the combo do 15 do 20 or whatever you uh, and it's usually like a grind based like grind times 10 grind times 15 then there's another one where it's like do 50 tricks without breaking the combo do 60 tricks without breaking the combo then there's normally an air based combo trick like do three air tricks before landing do four air tricks before landing I can't remember what the fourth one is but I know the fifth one is always like a special 
usually a special challenge, which is basically related to the level that you're doing. It's like, for example, the first level that I'll be doing after this cutscene, Dogenzaka Hill. You have to, the special challenge is grinding all the way down the long avenue without touching the ground. But the second level of Shibuya is to like hop on top of all the bus platforms without touching the ground. There's a couple of really annoying uh, souls that I'll get into later. Luckily the Dogenzaka tricks aren't really that annoying. They're pretty simple. Movement in this game. I guess I'll probably go over while I'm going through Dogenzaka. Most of the time, you're going to be seeing me boost dashing and shuffling a lot. And that's the boost dashing is a mechanic where if you have 10 cans, at least 10 cans, and you hit the B button, it'll use up those 10 cans to boost you and go faster. And then that usually lasts for maybe like three or four seconds. And then if you click in the left thumbstick after, like near that the end of it, you will do a shuffle and conserve some of that momentum for another couple seconds. And you also see me shuffling a lot after uh, uh, dropping off of rails that I've been grinding because it'll still even when you're not boost dashing and shuffling it still saves a small amount of time no so that was the mystery tape that I just grabbed and I'll be unlocking all of the souls as I'm going down Dogen or yeah as I'm going down this way over here Three, four. if you time tricks correctly you can actually like unlock two souls on the same frame which saves a little bit of time because then you don't have to have two cutscenes playing So that's all five souls unlocked. And now I'll be going around Dogenzaka and collecting them as I spray all the graffiti. In 100%, we normally wouldn't be. Oh, I kind of messed that up. I was supposed to jump up over there because I forgot that those two were there. I can grab that during noise tank cleanup though. But normally during 100%, we usually just unlock all the souls the first time we go through the level and then we don't pick up the souls until the second time we go through the level because we always have to go through the level a second time because there's always a second set of graffiti that we have to spray but during souls you're trying to trying to collect them all and then beat the game as quick as you can so we'll usually unlock all the souls as early as possible in the level and then that way we can collect them all. Right, and then, um, if anybody that's watching is like familiar with the original Jet Set Radio and not Future. There's a lot of differences between the two games. Uh, if you've played the original Jet Set Radio and you like really liked it for uh, its spraying mechanics, like it made you feel like you were actually spraying out graffiti by doing half circles and up-down motions on the control stick, you don't actually do that in this game. All you do in this game to spray graffiti is just hold the right trigger. Makes it a lot easier to spray graffiti, but Sadly, because this game uh, doesn't have like the option to 
separate like the uh, the graffiti camera. Whenever you're spraying like a uh, any graffiti that has more than one spray, so like a medium, large, or an extra large spray, your camera will like change and be looking at like perpendicular to the to the graffiti that you're spraying, which can be a little annoying for movement. This is, uh, there's this one strategy that we do that's called uh, quick turning, and it makes it really difficult to do a quick turn out of a spray that the uh, camera's changed with. Um, I'll only let my mom sleep if she has birthday cake. <laughs> Alright, I guess I... Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. There's, like, frame-perfect tricks. I was gonna mention perfect shuffles, but that's pretty much just, like, a... Because, like, I've kind of already gone over shuffling, but... If you click in the left thumbstick like the f either the same frame or the frame after you touch the ground you can do like a perfect a perf what we call perfect shuffle which is that once you hit the uh, ground your speed will be at full And the same can be done with a frame boost, which is when you jump onto a rail and you normally after you jump off of a rail, it's like trick jump speed, which is only like 75-80% of your speedometer down in the bottom right corner. But if you do a frame boost correctly and you jump off of the rail, your speed will be full speed and then you can continue uh, and then you can continue to chain those and your speed will increase each time you do it. The only issue to that is that it's a, also a frame perfect trick and it's very difficult to pull off consistently. Same with uh, frame perfect shuffles or perfect shuffles. This is Shibuya Terminal, the city's biggest non-stop dance party. Let's hit this joint and cover up that freaky looking graffiti. So I won't actually be grabbing the... Damn! It's poison jam! <laughs> I can't believe they're showing their ugly faces in broad daylight. Shame on them. Are they the ones behind all this? I won't be grabbing the tape right away for this one because... If I go up there now, or later on after I finish the graffiti and talk to Poison Jam, they lead you pretty much up to where the mystery tape is. So that's when I'll be going up to grab the mystery tape and unlocking all the souls. the Dark Souls of Dead Sega franchises. Honestly, 
when, to, in my opinion, the original Jet Set Radio is much harder to control than this game. Like, this game, that feels like, especially with, like, the not having to do full spraying mechanics for doing graffiti, and just all the whole fluidity of character movement and everything feels a lot more casual friendly in this game than it was for Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio, the movement and everything just felt way too clunky. So after I talk to them this time, I'll be able to collect the... <laughs> oh yeah, the, uh, the guy that got on my GDQ couch that I clearly had no clue who it was. Yeah. This is the worst, or one of the worst souls to unlock. The trigger zone for these platforms is really awful, so I'm going to be jumping on them a couple times each time just to make sure that it registers that I actually touched it. because otherwise it'll say that I didn't complete the challenge and I'll have to like backtrack and try to jump on the platforms again or some of them as long as they don't touch the ground see like right here it said that I didn't do it properly so now I have to go around and try to jump on a couple more pads and hopefully unlock it. I think I know which one it was. It's usually an issue with this one. It's usually this one right here. No? Is it this one? Probably one of these back ones. These back ones are also a little finicky. Yeah, there it was. <laughs> so that should be. Yeah, that's all of them. Now. Where's Poison Chimney? Oh, yeah, right over here. So now that I have those unlocked, I'll be collecting those after I finish talking to Poison Jim. Wait, does the game say to not play it? Like, are those the lyrics of one of the songs? I can't remember. Oh, right, the one that stopped playing games. I think that's techno pathetic. Okay, yeah, now before I head over there, I gotta collect these other couple of souls.
think that's okay. Yeah, there's one more that I can pick up during nice tank cleanup. Yeah, uh, future. I'm gonna have to agree with skeleton. It's the the controls are much better. Design, I guess, can be, or map design or level design, I guess, can be debatable, but the thing that I liked about Jet Set Radio's level design is that it was, like, wasn't so open. I don't know, the levels were nice and short and concise. Objectively, Jet Set Radio is the better speedrun. But personally, I enjoy speedrunning this more. <laughs> yeah, the, the Game Boy. The Game Boy version is something else. Shoutouts to uh, Aussie for the Game Boy Advance Jet Set Radio World Record. A true legend, by the way. Those poison jam punks got as much attitude as they are ugly. Poison Jam has been heating up the streets with their rivalry with the Queens of 99th Street. Rapid 99! These ladies hate seafood with a passion and fight with those fish faced fools. Poison Jam, like cats and dogs. If you can find them out there in the streets, they might sleep you some I would seriously wish an HD version of this game would get released because online death ball or like online flag battles or whatever would be pretty sick. When he loses it, there ain't no telling who he'll shoot. I mean, he's crazy. Check this out. Just the other day, he freaked out and trashed the patrol car. And why, you may ask? Because one of his subordinates went to buy him his favorite mint candy and came back with coffee. Yeah, I think the original Jet Set Radio didn't allow you to do, like, gravity-defying 90-degree... Uh... Pole grinds, from what I can remember at least. But yeah, it's all also falling down and taking forever to get back up. Which isn't too much of an issue in this game except for like maybe Sky Dino, Skyscraper District, and Fortified maybe. This is Chuo Street, the heart of Tokyo's entertainment district. Now get out there, poison Alright, so I'm gonna grab the tape like right away here. Normally we spray the left side because there's more graffiti over there. And normally during one of these cop dialogues you want to try to spray as much graffiti during that as possible before it uh, goes away and the trigger zone shows up. But we do this side because it's smaller, easier to do, and then it allows you to come up here and grab the 
tape before the fight starts. And since I'm up here, I'm behind the trigger zone, so it doesn't actually trigger the fight up here. It won't trigger until I go back down near the foot of the steps. So once I head over here by this ramp, it'll trigger. Nostalgia is misplaced for what? This game or Jet Set Radio? I don't even know if you're talking about me or somebody else. I actually bought Hover because I thought it would be a cool game. The, I don't know, like the controls for Hover just feel really weird to me. I played it for maybe a couple hours and I haven't touched it since. And that was like months ago, I think it was like during the summer. Oh no wait, I just did that. Okay, I know what these other ones are. There's one really annoying soul to deal with here. And I guarantee I will mess it up at least once or twice. And if I don't, then that'll be incredible. So I'm gonna spray all of the graffiti on this avenue really quickly, and then I'm gonna unlock a couple souls. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that unlocks two souls at the same time. Because you do like the 60,000 point trick plus ten tricks at the same time. And now I'm unlocking... I think the goal was 30 tricks without breaking combo. So there's that. And now I just have one more soul I have to deal with. And this is probably one of the most annoying souls to unlock in the game. So the trigger for this one is really dumb. And for some reason it makes it a little bit more consistent if you like boost dash halfway down here and then go back. It's not the most optimal way of doing it, but it's I think the most consistent way. 
I might not have even gone far enough, but we'll find out. So the thing to do here is skate down this whole like back alleyway, back road or whatever, and then land at the edge here. Alright, got a first try. Epic. And for some reason, jumping over into the half pipe or whatever makes it somewhat more uh, more likely to spawn. So five. Okay. I don't think I grabbed the rest of them until noise tank cleanup. So I'm gonna leave them all there. Right. So yeah, I'll collect those other souls after I come back here later. After finishing the graffiti, Poison Jam will show up. <laughs> and you're supposed to talk to them because after you after you race them, they'll go to Rakaku Dai Heights, which is the next level that I'm going to. And they will bust down a gate that allows you to get to the second half of Rakakodai Heights. This is the the intended way of doing it. Because if you don't talk to Poison Gem, then they can't bust open the gate. And it's impossible to go to the second part of the level without doing any glitches or skip, skips or whatever. Words. You know, luckily there, there there is glitches and a skip for that, so we don't have to do it. But however, for souls, it means I'm gonna have to void out twice. So after I spray this whole front section of Rikaku, I'm going to be voiding over to the other side, collecting a tape, and then voiding back here to unlock all of the gr all of the souls, and then going back again to uh, collect them all. Spray that, come over here, quickly grab the tape. I'm gonna try, I haven't done this void out in a long time, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it right away. Hopefully I will. Oh, no, that's wrong. There's like some really, I'll do it the original way, but if you wedge yourself between like two roofs or whatever, it'll just like force you out of the map or something. It's really weird. But yeah, the normal way that we do it is, let's see, you jump between that building there. Okay. 
try to remember how to get this. So, yeah, if you jump like over into this corner, you'll be able to like, jump far enough to void out. It'll throw you back to the save point, which is on the first side of Rakaku. And then it'll allow you to unlock everything. Thirty-five in the air. Okay. I don't know. Mm. If I could do it. I forgot there was this way to do it. I've seen Suprix do this. So that's, that's all of them here. Now I just have to go and collect them all. Okay. So there's the out of bounds. Again. And there's the warp again. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back up now. Couldn't save it. It's fine. So coming up here, there's normally a really big top fight, but and it maybe takes a minute to do. It's very laggy because there's just a huge amount of spray cans, police officers, everything. So if I just stand just outside the loading zone for that, I'm able to spray that graffiti without actually starting the fight.
26. Okay, I know where the last two are. those uh, cans but it's not a big deal you just collect them there Well, that's all the souls here. Don't have to worry about this level anymore. Alright, so 99th Street, I'm going to be unlocking or grabbing the tape and unlocking them all right away. Since I don't have to boost and try to get out of bounds like right away, I can just skate one lane. So that's all the souls unlocked here. All right, I forgot that. Shit, hold on. I forgot that there's soul, uh, soul over here. Yeah. 
I was just so like focused on the 100% route at the moment that I completely forgot about this one over here. So what I'm doing here is swapping characters because once I come back down here and trigger this dialogue on top of the police dialogue, it'll deload the cop fight on the dark side of 99th Street. I did a cop fight on the light side and by doing the fight, or by doing that, I'm able to skip the fight on the dark side now. Say it was probably around like 40 seconds. Make the sound of a Randy what? Randy Patridge hiding in the bracken. I don't know who or what that is. So I just have one more soul to pick up and it's right over here. This wasn't that bad of a 99th street to be honest. Pretty decent. Pokemon trader for Scottish birds. Right, so that's flag battle. You're supposed to collect, or there's five flags. You have to collect the majority of the flags. So you have to collect three out of five flags. The fastest order to do it is second, third, and fifth flag. The movement between the second and the third flag has to be pretty much perfect. Alright, 
and doing it in the sequence of two, three, five instead of two, three, four saves. I don't know, like maybe ten seconds. to your life every day in a stylish and funky way. Jet Set Radio! The GG's defeated Rapid 99 and forced him to mess up about the whereabouts of Poison Jam's hideout. And wouldn't you know it, it's in the Tokyo Underground Sewage Facility. Hm. I hear the entrance is on Okaku Dai Heights. The sewers are as tricky and twisted as my ex-girlfriend and twice as smelly. Who's funky, y'all? Careful not to lose track of the exit, or you'll be lucky for the master. Huh? You don't know what the master is? Oh, no hurry. You'll be meeting him soon enough, whether you like it or not. Well, from what I heard, Poison Jam's got a boss, and anyone who can organize those fellas has got to be one mean dude. Probably loves fish, too. I think I, yeah, I collected everything in Rakakudai Heights. I'll pause again just to make sure really quickly. All right, see you, Zeno. So normally, for any percent, we skip sewers, but because we need to collect the souls, we can't really skip it. But we can still skip having to do spraying all the graffiti or spraying all the whatever the things are called the switches that poison gem tells us to switch or not poison gem but just that we don't have to that we're told to s spray That's not a jump, that's a jump. So now I'm going to be unlocking souls as I go up to the top. And since I don't have to spray any of the uh, switches, I can just focus on collecting souls and unlocking souls. Am I dropping frames? I don't think so.
Someone unlocked the last couple. Graffiti, and then I'm gonna go, or last couple souls, and then I'm gonna go around and collect the rest of the souls. Let me just, yeah, so the rest of them are just point based. Sewer, uh. I, I think, well, sewers and bottom point, I think, are the only two levels that don't really have, like, a special goal. It's just kind of like a, a point goal and then like a higher point goal. Yeah, in, uh, for the original Jet Set Radio, the main reason people don't really use gum is because gum has half circle sprays, and it's much better to use tab and, uh, I think it's beat, because their sprays are just up and down rather than half circles. Gum is used in 100% runs of Jet Set Radio because half circles do more points and jet rankings in uh, the original Jet Set Radio are based on points rather than speed. This tower is kind of annoying to climb up. Yeah, true. I think Tab is only more useful because I think he's able to hold more cans than gum. I don't know, it's been a while since I've done 100% runs of Jet Set Radio, so I can't quite remember. Down over the last one is located. And the reason we use gum for this game is because her out of the available characters at the start of the game, gums, cornering, and just her stats are slightly better than the others. Bottom point time.
like poison jam, huh? Their hideout should be around here somewhere. Alright, so now I gotta collect all of the souls before starting the fight. So I have to go all the way up. And the closest one to... the start of the fight somewhere up here. It's right here. Okay, and then I just collect the rest as I head back. None in this room. Yeah, this game controls much better than Jet Set Radio. Uh, I, I said this earlier, but I'll say it again. The uh, like the controls definitely feel a lot more casual friendly than like arcadey and uh, clunky. Like you're. Some of the differences between the two games, like you're not able to do tricks to keep your momentum, aka like uh, tricking. Well, I guess you can. It, it's just kind of different. In Jet Set Radio, the way to continually do tricks is to just keep jumping. And if you have a high enough speed in Jet Set Radio and you jump, you'll do a trick jump. Whereas in this game, you can just keep hitting the uh, X or Y button to do tricks to keep your speed and momentum up. Okay, I have one more soul I have to collect, which is up here. All right, not a bad bottom point. Correctly, I should be able to spray the third poison jam before he enters the third room. The uh, each basically, basically each one of these rooms is like each room for each 
Actually, I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't think. Because I just kind of wasted some cans there. Or I didn't grab that blue can. So yeah, I think I might have to drop to... Yeah, that sucks. I should have went back and grabbed that uh, blue can, but... I kind of just assumed I wouldn't have needed it. So he'll drop down here, I think? Yeah. But yeah, if I would have done it correctly, I wouldn't have even had to have dropped into this room. Because I would have been able to spray him before he dropped in. Yeah, I don't mind how the... Uh, I don't mind the controls for the original Jets or Radio either. They definitely make the gameplay feel a lot more rewarding. Especially whenever you get a Jet rank on a level. It's just that it's kind of a pain in the ass to get used to compared to this game. Because this game is much easier to control and handle. The station that's so smooth. Your ears I'm, gonna I'm gonna grab some eggnog. GG's are penetrating the Tokyo Underground Sewage Facility. Crash, poison gems, little sewer pipe. Their boss, Q, got away. But it was obviously poison gem who kidnapped the statue. And why'd they go and do a thing like that? Whoa, this just in. GG's member, Yo-Yo, has just disappeared. No ransom note, no threatening phone calls, nothing. I mean, what's going on here? In other news today, the new team, the Noise Tanks, just arrived in the scene of flexing some serious muscle. Word is that the Noise Tanks are a bunch of cyborgs. They all got mechanical bodies and whatnot. And the Immortals, who used to control the Skyscraper District, just got their butts handed to them by the Noise Tanks and had to give up their turn. The Noise Tanks are bringing one street team after another. And pretty soon, they're going to be running wild all over the city. You gotta be a fool to think this ain't got nothing to do with Yo-Yo's little disappearance. Rough up those immortals a little, and they might help you unravel this mystery. Let's go. <laughs> I really like this level. Let's go do something about all that ugly immortal graffiti. This level's pretty fun. HQ to all cars. Units spotted on Kanye Street. All units converge on Kanye Street area. Repeat, converge. This is Hayashi. Oh, fuck. Emergency testing of the experimental weapon initiated. Target location is SHC. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. All officers evacuate the area immediately. I was supposed to like, get one of the souls off before triggering this fight, but. Kind of messed that up. I can unlock it right here, right now. Check out that style. One. Sweet. 
Hopefully this works. I'm not quite sure if this will unlock it or not. Okay, there we go. Don't know why it didn't unlock the first time. I think it may have been I wasn't going to fast enough speed. Possibly. Imagine being such a nerd that you get bullied by kids spray painting penises on walls. Well, you know. 
Shot it again, god damn it. This uh, fight gets really laggy. I don't know if you, you guys can probably tell, but like the whenever they uh, the Hayashi drops bombs, it gets like really. Alright, that's what I was trying to do the first time. One left on this. One go. Which one is the Dark Souls? <laughs> uh, well, when you on Zero Beat's head is like a dark version of the soul, so I'll, I'll just say the Zero Beat. When you unlock Zero Beat, that's the Dark Soul. controlling the immortals. They managed to spread their turf all the way out here. Bury all the immortals graffiti in your own paint. Alright, so I'm gonna try to skip a helicopter fight. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. But it'd be really nice if I could. Normally you're supposed to fight four helicopters, but if you reset the dialogue a couple times, you can skip it entirely. I'm 
hoping that was good enough. It looks like it could have been very close to not making it. Okay, I got it. I would have been able to tell if I didn't if, uh... If Hayashi started talking instead of, uh, the cops. So, now I have to finish all the graffiti, because if I grab the tape and start trying to unlock souls, I'll trigger the cop fight again, because the cop fight is still active right now. Or the, the loading zone for the cop fight is still active. The only time it disappears is after you finish all the graffiti. Or after you trigger boogie, which I'm going to try not to do. So after I finish all the graffiti, then I'll grab the tape and start unlocking souls. It's really laggy here as well, by the way. Oh, come on. I'll just do this then. I was supposed to try jumping up to uh, air combo times four. Two, three, four. Okay, I just have one more soul I have to uh, unlock. And then I can go around the map again a second time and start collecting everything. The goal for this trick is to just skate through this gate. It's super easy. So now, let's see. Yep, now I just have to go around the map collecting all the souls. Past this area, way down here.
The level I'm not looking forward to is Skyscraper District. Actually, Sky Dino is going to be awful too, but whatever. So that's all the souls in Kibo. Now we go off to Skyscraper District. Skyscraper District is the last level that has like this really annoying goal that you have to try to get and it just takes sometimes it takes some certain amount of time to trigger like that you've actually done it. What kind of sweater am I wearing right now? I'm actually wearing a uh, USA, an American flag uh, sweatshirt. You know, ch channeling my inner flag it, as they say. I didn't burn it. I'm not gonna burn it. That other guy who got one for free last week took his to Goodwill after the news broke. Oh my god, dude. Skyscraper district in Pharaoh Park, an open air garden built by some rich Egyptian dude living in Tokyo, and the holy sanctuary of the immortals. Do me a favor, give the immortals nasty graffiti a facelift. HQ to all squads. Units on skates have been sighted in the vicinity of Pharaoh Park. All squads in the area investigate immediately. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
I'm gonna grab the tape right away. Okay, so I just have to do 65 tricks and skating around the pharaoh a couple times. I don't know how I've gotten the skating around the pharaoh tr uh, soul when a soul pops up near a red girder. That's the 65 trick soul. Alright, there we go. Epic. It actually wasn't that bad. I was expecting it to take a lot longer. Pause per minute. Wait, what? How many haws per minute is optimal speedrun tech? Uh, I don't know. Like one every second or so. Ah, I got the wrong. Shit. Sayonara! Just looking away from the screen for a second. I'm gonna grab a health here just in case. Cause it's very easy to die on this level if you mess up just the one too many times. I have to try to remember where all the souls are.
Here's a nice, neat little graphical thing. So all the graffiti's done, now I just have to collect the last few souls. And showed up in the skyscraper district and Pharaoh Park. And we get to see the immortals. And then I can fight the immortals. This way? I can't. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Oops. Two more left. I know. Okay. No, yeah. I know how I'm gonna do this. I kind of know. Let me see here. There should be one. Yeah, there you go. And then after I collect this, then I can fight the immortals.
Watch out, or else they'll turn you into one of their own. Spray the backs of those involved punks. <laughs> Alright, so that's just a fake fight. The real one will take place at Highway Zero. Which is actually like an, uh, a more fleshed out fight. Because instead of only spraying like half of a, an immortal, you'll actually be able to spray all three of them. your tag on the backs of the immortals and rescue yo-yo Alright, so this next chapter is probably, uh, it's easily the easiest chapter of this category because it's the same as any percent and you don't have to collect any souls, you don't have to spray any graffiti, it's just three races. It's probably the easiest and probably the most boring part of the run. GG's have been hauled off to the future site of the Rokaku Expo Stadium, located just off 99th Street. The members of the noise tanks have just jacked into the power supply of the stadium, which is being built for the Rokaku Expo. I got a bad feeling that something wicked's about to go down. Oh, dude, Desync, you're finally here. You, you heard the news of Desync? But if I were to take a game, 
never mind. Professor K will bring you the action with live coverage from the future site of the Tokyo Rokaku Expo Stadium. Let the games begin, baby. First up, we have those hard-headed bikers. The Doom Riders versus the GG. Seriously. And now they've had their skulls replaced with helmets. Ooh, scary. So there's the first lap, two more to go. The Doom Riders have been knocked out cold. Can't collect insurance in hell, boys. Jeez, back for more. Tyler won a real alpha. of love and death, the love shocker versus, oh, wouldn't you know it, 
the GG's again. All right now, the GG's have finally started to slow down. That's got to be a part of the noise tank's game plan. Message of love and death. It's that lovable team of psychos. The love shocker. Who's gonna bear the brunt of their message today? Surrounded by the Rokaku police. Man, who called these fools? These party crashes are messing everything up. It would be nice if the police were just here to watch, but no. They forced their way right into the game. Oh, man, I hope the Rudys don't blow it by losing their heads and running away. <laughs> Someone was kind enough to let me know you're here. Now's my chance to take care of you once and for all. This time I'm prepared, so don't think it'll go down like last time. Resistance is futile, you little guinea pigs. Just accept your fate. Don't try any funny business either. It's already getting late. The Rukaku police's terror drone showed up again. Get rid of them for good this time, man. I'm telling you. Hey! All right, so during this next chapter, you actually cannot unlock any souls during the noise tank cleanup. So it's just going to be collecting souls and then smashing all the noise tanks. Once I get to Sky Dino, then I'll be able to unlock the souls at Sky Dino. I have to pick up two souls in Dogen, I believe, and then one soul in Shibuya, and then the ones in Chuo. There's the bell, and it looks like the competitors are already good to go in a concrete arena. Tell you what to do, just run into them and take them out. Damn, I thought I could. 
Okay. I'll just some going around Dogen smashing some noise tanks for a bit. This is the reason why I was supposed to pick up those souls uh, the first time I was in Dogen. Because as far as I know, there isn't a way to get back up from there. So it just cost me like a minute to have to go all the way around the level to get back into Shibuya. At least with smashing all of these helps uh, the counter, I suppose. The last one that I need here is just over here. And then I gotta collect, I think it was two here. Oh, there's three here actually, okay. I guess I forgot to mention that you only have to destroy 200 noise tanks before it'll let you continue. So that's all the souls here. And I already have all of the souls. In Shibuya. And I think I, yeah, I already have all the ones in 99th Street as well. So I just have to finish clearing up all the noise tanks before I can move on.
Okay, so there's really only three more levels that I have to collect souls on. This one, Fortified, and Highway Zero. This level is probably the worst one to do. And here's, uh, normally you have to go through there to start it, but you can go around. But if you go that way, then it triggers the fight, and then you can't enter Sky Dino again until um, you're finished with the fight. So if you jump around the jump around it like I did, you're able to skip the trigger and just go in here and start collecting souls. Time to just go around the level, collect everything. Uh, I don't know. It's probably licensing issues, I would probably assume, because the music, probably can't license all the music, and I know that was an issue with the HD port of JSR as well. That's why they had to either omit a few tracks or put new ones in or something. Another reason is Sega probably just doesn't care. You know, why why care about your smaller franchises when you know you as a business can just keep pumping out Sonic and making millions of dollars each year. So it's probably financially and uh, probably financially not in their best interest, and it's also probably. Well, financially not in their best interest due to licensing issues and just probably wouldn't make them much money.
Time to kick some booty, y'all. Defeat that traitor, Yo-Yo. Yeah, one of one of the big issues with the JSR port is that it crashes a lot on PC. Sadly, it kind of suck if that if they did port this if it was the same issue. Luckily, you know, with the advancement of an Xbox emulator, it might be possible to just play it on emulator. Within the next couple of years, hopefully. What's the same? The the it's two entirely different engines. The JSR and the JSRF engines are entirely different. I'm pretty sure. Back to to school. Jet Set Radio. We're kicking it live, even in the furthest reaches of the galaxy. And to all you aliens out there, I know what you're planning to invade us. Whenever you're ready, just bring it on, suckers. Yo Yo's real identity was nothing but a noise tank in disguise. And check this out those noise tanks were cyborgs created by Rokaku. It seems they kidnapped Yo Yo. And built a fake one to try and destroy the GGs. And since the Rokaku police couldn't take care of the Rudys on their own, the Rokaku group is sent in the Golden Rhinos, their own little secret special forces group, to tear up the streets. The Golden Rhinos are a group of highly trained. <laughs> what are the chances he is just going for most viewed clip ever? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, if you if you've never played Future, I, I would definitely say at least play it once. The noise tanks have been wiped out, but now the gang that got implanted with noise tanks' brainwashing chip is after the GG. Where in the world could the real Yo-Yo be? Defeat the Golden Rhino goons. And find yo yo. Mm. All right, so the first fortified, you can't do anything, or you can't unlock any souls. So this is just going to be a normal any percent route through fortified. I'll have to come back a second time to collect the tape because the tape doesn't spawn until after you beat it the first time. <laughs> that was a cosmic ring.
right, another load screen. I can read some more sh juicy updates. Soon, when the timer runs out, this building will go kaboom! <laughs> Fools, you continue to cling to the sad notions of camaraderie and friendship. And because of it, your pitiful little lives will end in a grand display of fireworks. Golden Rhinos are planting a time bomb somewhere in the fortified residential zone. First, spray the blue device and stop that timer. First, spray the blue device to stop it. Oh, wrong way, dude. If you are hearing this tape, that means that you have somehow managed to deactivate all of the blue devices. How interesting. Let's see how well you fare a second time. Chat will remain in emote only mode. Oh, baby. Well, it seems you stopped the blue device. Now find the red one and disarm it. Damn it. Turn the camera to. Oh, okay, that's fine. I thought I was going to be on the stairs for a second. Get a big enough jump off of it. Completely fly past that. They didn't like you messing with the timers. Take them all out.
Oh, that wasn't for a dog. That was just for a yo-yo. Wait, is it? No. Yeah, it was for yo-yo. Cause I know I know Yo-Yo has a dog called Pots, but I couldn't remember if Pots was a part of this or not. No, wait, yeah, because the dog was taken, wasn't it? I, I can't remember the story of this game. Some freak that looks a lot like V is showing his face all over Tokyo. Even for someone who likes to play a little dress up. Ain't that a bit weird? He's running around spraying some crazy graffiti. Does he have any connection to the Golden Rhino? Golden Rhino? No, yo yo is uh. Where am I going now? I'm so confused about where I'm going. Yo-Yo's, uh, one of the characters. There ain't no superhero to save the day in the world to the streets, baby. It's all well, I guess Potts is also a character, but Potts is the dog. More like punks are rampaging through Chuo Street. Highway Zero is in a sea of flames. Golden Rhinos are laying waste to the street and showing no mercy. You gotta stop them. Rhinos have thrown Chuo Street into panic. Take down that twisted punk. Now we head off towards Fortified again. Ooh, nice shuffle.
Hey, what's up, Victor? Ah, oh, damn it. I think I jumped too late. For that shortcut. Alright, so that's all the souls unlocked. Now I just have to collect them all. Oh my god, those fucking shuffles, dude. I got the frame boost into the shuffle. I feel like I'm god. I know there's one over here that I can quickly grab. For the last ones, four, three up top. Oh, I, okay, I know where they are. Two are up top, one's at the transfer, and the one's on bottom. Ah, uh, that's not the direction I wanted to go. This is fine though, I think. Yeah. So I can still get over there. Uh, hopefully I remember where this one is. Oh, I know where it is, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I kind of messed that up. Oops. Um, I think I remember where it's located. I'm trying my hardest to remember, like I did 100% run not too long ago. Wait, it's not up there, is it? No, it's in the crevice. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this would be so best, do not
and then, alright, and then the last one is down at the very bottom, down here, I should be able to fall through the, through this, yeah, 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 there we go, easy, okay, so one level left, and that's highway zero, Good for, I think one of them didn't go down. No, no, man. They all did. I missed a couple of cans, but it's not no it's no big deal. Uh is GG's graffiti poison like poison gems? Probably. I mean how else how else would everybody die? Well I guess I guess in the real world if you huff too much paint, I guess you can die from that. So I guess it's just them huffing too much of it. I don't know. Could be, could be spiked with poison. Ooh, almost got that nice two cycle. If you look at the, uh, on the stream, the category is 125 souls. Golden Rhino. My signal is fading quick. Who the hell are you, sucker? Ah, help me! Hey, don't touch that! Get your hands up! Stop! That's my step! Sucker, I'm, a, I'm warning you! Get off! Get off! Don't make me... Also, hey, what's up, two worlds? Okay, there's that. There's 70, 90,000. Ooh, wait, where's, uh, there it is.
Beautiful. Oh, wait. No, never mind. It hasn't spawned yet. I forgot. I, I forget how Yayo does it. Because I think the way he does it, he has that one spawned down there already. collect everything and once I collect all of these I should have a total of 125 souls Oops, kind of messed that up. I think there's three souls left. This one, the other one. And then the one back where I need to get to. Yeah, this is the last soul over here. And then I just have to beat the game after I collect this last soul. And I'll pause really quickly just to show 125 souls. Beautiful.
of Tokyo, people of the world. Konnichiwa, Nihau, and good evening. This is DJ Big Boji bringing you a special broadcast of supreme culture. Rokaku Bonsai Radio! Arigato, arigato! Oh, doi gozaimashite! To start off the night, I would like to proudly... Yeah, that's a really good song. ...while it was a little behind the schedule, the Rokaku Expo finally begins today! Thank you, thank you! The true meaning of art. Oh, I love beauty. <laughs> the name of this tower of ultimate beauty is... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. The name is irrelevant. What you must know is that this tower plays the music of the future of Tokyo and... The entire world! Arigato, arigato! Merci beaucoup! Bandai! There is no use resisting! Come to the Shibuya Terminal! Hurry, hurry! It's sugar! Oh wait, I, I, I didn't see, um... <clears throat> I didn't see you say this earlier. This is a hybrid if you're still there. What do you mean by trophies? And I'm not quite sure which uh which stage you're talking about. J pop? Maybe J hip hop. Cause I know it's sampling. Oh yeah, souls no, they spawn in the same place every time. This tower is not finished. And that is why I need you. All of you. With your voices, we can complete this tower of ultimate beauty together. Now wipe that pitiful smile. Seemed lost on where to find them. Uh, yeah, you could, you could say that. May have slightly forgotten where they were a bit. It, 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 it's fine. <laughs> if I if I had practiced this game enough, I would have been able to memorize all of the challenges instead of having to keep pausing and double checking what the challenges were and knowing exactly where they were. But I, uh, to, to be to be honest, I haven't really touched this game much since SGQ. Outside of a 100% run that I did for a different marathon a couple of days ago, I haven't touched this game in like months. Right. 
solid fight. <laughs> yeah, I do think that's that's exactly what it, what it is. Please get it. It's not gonna happen. You can like clip through that building. It doesn't do anything, but it's kind of neat. All runners in DGen Dash don't practice. Yeah. I know, uh. This cuts in really good. Time will probably be coming up like within a minute. That's uh, that's Jetsa Radio Future 125 Souls. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed the jamming tunes. Thank you. <laughs> 